If you haven't seen part one of this series, then go check it out in the link below. Part two, what I wanna dig into is the importance of metrics in driving this change. What you're seeing in the corporate structures with administrators is a push towards more metrics and tracking of behavior and of activity and outcome in healthcare. And that is creating a squeeze for pharmacists and doctors alike. They're not just measuring patient outcomes, they're also measuring labor budgets. I'm looking at the article here. And many of those metrics were pulling employees in opposite directions. That is why when you are identifying the key metrics that you want to track and measure and instill into the minds and hearts of your employees, you've got to pick three three key results that are meaningful, measurable, and memorable that then everyone can rally behind. When you measure 10 things, 50 things, people's brains are scattered. Their problem solving is split in multiple directions. You have to simplify what you're measuring and allow employees to identify the best way to achieve those three most important goals.